let's show quantizing. But in order to do that, I want to bring in a drum beat and I want to show you something about um, live. There is MIDI clips available. It's in the library under clips. And down here, I opened up one of these guys here. Let's see. LCD CompuSpank. The name alone deserves attention. I can double click this. And down here is a drum kit and five or so different MIDI clips. Let's just take this whole thing over. So then I have MIDI. It's pretty cool, really. I'm going to hide some of this malarkey. Okay, so let's just hear what this first one sounds like. Okay, a couple things. In the last section, we um, didn't cover uh, two things. One of them is option drag. Option drag would be uh, copy, hold down the option key. And now I'll have two of these little zipper dudes. Okay, so option drag. But let's just say that I was solid with this whole track, except for those zipper dudes. But I wanted to leave them in place just for the, the posterity of it. I have that set selected. I'm going to hold down the shift key, select that set. And what I want to do then is right click and select deactivate. Now these guys are going to go clear. Use my plus keys to zero up there. Clear. So now when I play the track. Okay, so quantize. Shift Apple U or right click to get quantize settings. In here, I can access the quantize menu. Whoop de doo. The trick though is that I should have and could have and would have had selected the notes that I wanted to quantize first. Command A. Select all, right click, quantize settings. And you can get in here and basically ruin this thing. Um, say I wanted to quantize everything to a strict quarter note and I wanted the just the starts to do it. So watch closely, here we go. Okay, and undo that and say it's probably you wonder if the if it's underneath, but it's not. Okay, so you have to get it again. Right click or shift Apple U. And let's do the endings to a quarter note and not the beginnings. This will affect the note value towards the end. So it'll bring those little shavers all the way up to a quarter and it'll knock that one back, etc. Oh, unexpected. Here we go. Let's listen. Okay, it's a visual thing. It really didn't make any difference in the sound. I can also say, zoom up on something. Say that this is off a bit right in here. And I just saw that it was off. I can come by, select it, and do Apple U. And that just quantizes it to the settings that I have in here. Okay, so I had start and end. I'm just going to do the start. And then we'll do like this. Command, and then say I'm cruising by, I see a problem, I go Apple U, and it give me the triplet there. Okay, double click to come back out. The reason I can't double click to my whole view is because I'm selected on that note. All right, so there's my whole beat. Now let's add quantizing from the groove pool. Remember groove pool is here. And I have already some grooves that are loaded in this particular set. I was using them on audio. And let's use it on this MIDI track. So I have it there. I'm going to go to my groove settings and selections. MPC 8, swing. And I'm going to commit it. Okay, so that put like a three feeling on it. One, two, three, da, 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 da. Okay, so the ones that I have in here aren't getting it for me musically. So let me hot swap a couple of these. Got my groove pool, hot swap. And 
I, it takes me right to my folder. And I can just literally take that on and just lay it over top of a groove. Okay, the other really cool thing is I remember in audio how we can double and triple things. We can do the same in MIDI. So if I do this, cut it in half. If I do this, it's normal. If I do this, it's double time. Let's hear how this does. And then we might quantize this. Okay, something like this. And then really just quantize the snot out of this guy. So take a swing 74 again. Commit it. So this is some quantized options for MIDI using the groove pool.